Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there's no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who have taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, and honor citations to the elect Akim. Doing these works in sincerity and in truth. Alright, so um so like I'm gonna get into uh pretty much how we're gonna be taken care of, you know. A reports been going out. I'm surprised these reports has been going out warning people. You know, I literally got a news article sent to my phone. That was like a warning to uh, pretty much stock up now because grocery stores are uh, preparing for a second hit. And I saw um, um, the one brother, uh, G. Messing Doran Branch, even he, he went into it, going into how the famine is coming. You know, these stores are preparing for that, for that second hit. And how could we any of us forget the first hit? You know, you, you, you couldn't find toilet tissue. You you couldn't find waters, crystal geyser waters, no type of waters. You couldn't find it. And it's going to go back to that. And I literally got the news article sent to my phone. Like, yo, stock up now because it's about to happen again. But, you know, with that being said, this time, um, it's going to be way worse. And this time, um, it's going to uh, transfer, Lord willing, straight into... Martial law. So, you know, the point is, you know, you get what you get. Okay. I'll, I'll never forget it. The elder Manazak said, don't have nothing in your fridge. Talk about you got faith. Okay. So have a little something on deck. But ultimately. And then, you know, but yeah, so like it. But ultimately, man, the Lord's going to take care of us anyway. So this is a. Uh, You know, it's not like the scriptures say when was the righteous ever uh, uh, begging bread, <laughs> you know, and who's the righteous? Let me get those two scriptures real quick. This is, uh, I believe this is in Sarah, the second chapter, you know. Well, I'll just quote it, man. You know, I already quoted it. When when was the righteous poor and begging bread? Okay? So we got to keep that scripture in mind. Going to show you that we won't be out here starving. And then we got to see who's the righteous. This is uh, Galatians. Galatians chapter 3, verse 6. It says, Even as Abraham believed the Most High, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. So those that believe on Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai, that's the righteous. See, if you don't believe in Yahweh Bashem and Shai, you're not righteous. <clears throat> and again, as the scripture said, when were the righteous ever poor and begging bread? Roughly paraphrasing. And the answer is never. So we'll never be in that case where we don't have anything to eat. The Lord is going to give us our daily bread, man. You know, and this is Isaiah. So the scriptures, yo, the scriptures say it. It's Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Okay. So. Boom, you have it right there. That goes to show you that we're going to be having food to eat in that day. You know? And, um, who knows? We, it may, yo, we may, it may even be rocking. You know? The food that the Lord is going to feed us in that day, because the scripture just said it will, he will. It may be banging for all we know. We may be eating good. Okay? 
we may actually be eating very good. It may be actually very, like, damn, that tastes good. The reason why I say that is, uh, matter of fact, John the 6th chapter. Right? This is, uh, because we got to think about this. This is John 6 and 22. The day following when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there save that one where until his disciples were entered and that Yahweh Shai went not with the disciples into the boat but that his disciples were going away alone right verse 23 how be it there came other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread after that the Lord had given thanks Okay, right, verse 24 is the point as well. When the people therefore saw that Yahweh Shai was not there, see, so they were in their boats looking for Yahweh Shai. Right? They went they went to a certain spot, they saw he wasn't there. So what happened? Neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum, seeking for Yahweh Shai. So yeah, I believe, yeah, the spot where the Yahweh Shai first fed them, they went there, looking to see if he was there, he wasn't there, or his disciples wasn't there. So then they got, all right, then they went to Capernaum, looking, just looking for Yahweh Shai. Why was they looking for Yahweh Shai? It was 25. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they finally found him. They said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? They was fake as fuck, man. These dudes were fake. Calling Yahweh Shai master. Master, when did you get here? Man, that's what Yahweh Shai said to them. Verse 26. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Ye seek me, not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. So can you believe that, man? These freaking niggas searching all around the sea. To follow to, to find Yahweh Shai. Just because they wanted to eat. Just because they wanted to eat Yahweh Shai's bread. And then <laughs> and then that's why Yahweh Shai said verse 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath the most high the Father sealed. See? So if these people, man, was following Yahweh Shai just to eat, they had enough money to travel, you know, from here to here. They could have easily had money for to eat elsewhere. But they wanted to follow Yahweh Shai just to eat his bread, man, specifically. It was probably banging, man. You know? Think about the wine. Remember, remember in the wedding with the wine? Yahweh Shai brought it out towards the end. And it was like, dang, who, who saved the good wine for last? <laughs> so his wine, Yahweh Shai's wine was like amazing and out of this world. So the, the food that he was eating was probably amazing. The food that he was giving to the people was probably amazing and out of this world. So, you know, who knows, man? Even when... We we're in Jacob's shovel, and uh, Yahweh Shai is a scene that we eat because he said that in uh, Matthew. And Yahweh Shai is making sure that his servants eat. We may be eating good. Who knows, man? The, 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 the point is to just have faith and not to worry about that. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 31. Says, oh yeah, because I remember the elder um I had done was saying that. Like uh just because it's the end, don't don't be uh you know like stuffing your face, man, going in. As if we about to uh, uh do a bid or something, go to jail. No, you're about to go to jail, you eat crazy. You eat crazy, man, because you know you about to uh, uh be suffering. So you'll stock up. You know, we don't got to be in that spirit. I remember the old Ayatun was saying that, you know. 
You know, it's, it's, you definitely don't want to be in that spirit. I remember even that thought crossing my mind, man. Keeping it a buck, man. That thought crossed my mind, like, yo, we about to, man, I better get it in now while I can. But all praise and glory to Yahweh Shem El Shai. You know, the Lord caught me, man, from getting in that spirit. So this is um, Matthew 6 and uh, 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High in his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. See, so don't worry about none of that, man. The Lord is going to take care of us tremendously. That's all we got to know. That's all we got to worry about, man. So, you know, who knows? We may even be eating good, man, to where you don't even got to get in that spirit. You about to eat before you do this bit. And this is 2nd Edges chapter 2, verse 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. 10. Yo. That's, that's, yo. And we can consider ourselves true servants. Because we went out, man, that's why we give double honors to the apostle and others of Great Millstone. Who rule well. You know, they, they told us go out through the scriptures too. And then they show forth by example that we have to go out in, in season and out of season, cold, whatever. You know, hot, cold. We, we are true servants, man. Do the spirit power, Yahweh Shemashai, all praise and glory to Yahweh Shemashai. So we can consider ourselves servants if we endure into the end. And once we once the end comes and and we were found faithful, hey, we're not gonna perish, man. Period, man. So we gotta have that faith. It says for I will require them from among thy number. Verse twenty seven. Be not weary, for when a day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. See, so. We, we're going to have an abundance, man. We may have an abundance of wine, an abundance of strong drink, an abundance of food. We're going to be good. Okay? Now, like brother say, it ain't going to be no walk in the park because we're going to always be on the go. Always going to be on the go. Pilgrims upon earth. You know, always looking over our shoulders. You know, seeing all this destruction. But through the midst of it all, we will be taken care of, man. So we don't got to worry about none of that stuff. All right. So Lord willing, this was edifying. And I'm going to say Shalom.